Zelda 2, baby. This is regarded as the worst Legend of Zelda game. And you know, I can't really blame anyone. This game pretty sucks. Even though IGN gave this an 8.5, gotta hate IGN. This game is full of glitches and oh yeah, it's a 2D platformer. This is the first and only time Zelda went all 2D platformer on us. I'm gonna quote Miyamoto on this. He said, I think we could have done more with Zelda 2. After Zelda 2, they went strictly top down. Then they made A Link to the Past, which is an incredible Zelda game. But look, the long play is only two hours. I know how I'm going to spend my Friday night. It's not like I have friends or anything. So I played Zelda 2, so you don't have to. Hey, that rhymed. Come on. Don't play this game. It sucks. It's awful. Don't do it. I would say Mario 3, Punch-Out, and Zelda 1s are the only NES games that hold up. Zelda 2 does not hold up at all. I know Zelda 1 can be hard because, yeah, it's an NES game, but holy crap. The boomerang guys suck, and there's like a million of them in the game. Just watch this one clip. <laughs> Who thought that this would be good game design? Now I know what you're all thinking. Jack, it's a hard game. Can you not handle a hard game? And I know exactly who's thinking that. It's all those 40-year-old NES heads. I've been Cuphead and the DLC. I think that's pretty good. But everybody thinks that this is a stupid hard game. But what if I told you that there's secrets everywhere, like heart containers and magic stuff, because the magic stuff is weird in this game. Well, they're in these dumb random locations, of course, because where else would they be? Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but wait till you hear these enemy names. For example, ach, 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 it doesn't work. My favorite, Bago Bago. I like to Bago Bago Bago, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ra, of course there's Ra. And finally, Rope. Yes, rope. I don't think it's a rope. I know what you're thinking. Jack, is the game really that bad? And you know what? It's not awful. If you want a challenge, go ahead. Be my guest. But some of this is just plain old stupid. This is also the first time Dark Link was introduced, so that's pretty cool. Pig Ganon's here, but he's only a game over screen, which is kind of dumb. And you know, the controls are actually really good in this game. I would even go as far as say it's the best controlling NES game. All right, let's see how we're doing for time. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's not much to review about NES games. They're so simple, which means we're really going to have to dig deep for these next couple things. I am error. All right, thanks, man. Use keys in palaces they are found in. What? Do not go south without a candle. Okay. It's safe to say these NPCs are pretty dumb. I thought Nintendo had translators. I don't want to talk trash on an NES game about graphics, but... Oh my god, this game does not look very good, even for an NES game. So, Link, you look like a girl in this game. That tunic is not doing you any favors. Oh, we're getting desperate. The Legend of Zelda The Adventure of Link is just not very good. It tried to do something really ambitious, and it failed hard. If you want to play a Zelda game and you want to also want to play a really hard game, then I would consider playing this because it's hard, it's still a Zelda game, and it's different. I had some fun playing this game, but after just revising it and looking through all the glitches and the difficulty, I'm not feeling it. I think I'm just going to give it a 5 out of 10. Sorry.